What's up everyone? Thank you for watching another vlog on this channel. I'm Papa Yassi and welcome to another totally weird video. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing a cap right now, but we'll get to that later. I know I haven't uploaded anything on this channel for 5 months and a lot of things happen in those 5 months. But now is not really the right time to talk about it and it's not really that important for you to know right now. What's important is that I'm back and I have a lot of things planned for this channel. At least, you deserve to know that. Just a few updates, and this might get boring for some of you. And if you want to skip this part, you can go to this timestamp right here. First, you might have noticed that the channel is now called Lee Andrew B. Yassi. And that's because the Google account that I use for online school is the same account that is linked to this channel. And if I change my Google account for online school in the middle of the term, it might cause some confusion to my teachers. I don't want that to happen. Also, if I change the Google account link to this channel, I will have to start over and that's definitely something that I don't want to happen. So until this term ends, this channel will have to remain as my full name. Next update is about my Facebook page that I no longer have access to and my Instagram account that recently got hacked. So if you like that page and follow my old Instagram account, you may unlike and unfollow those two. Then follow me on my new account at TotallyYaki for Instagram. Here are the social media platforms that I'm on if you'd like to give that a quick follow as well. So last but not least, and this is something that I'm really excited about, only 22 more subscribers to go before we hit 200 subscribers. And I'm 22 years old this year, so it would really make my year if 22 of you that are watching and aren't subscribed yet go and click that subscribe button right now or before this year ends. And since I'm still working on uploading regularly, go ahead and hit the bell icon to get notified every time a new video goes up on this channel. And for the reason why I'm wearing a cap right now, because I want you to make it to the end of the video before seeing what I did to my hair. You can probably see some of it right now, but it's different when you see the entire thing. I know for some of you that it might be Christmas season already, but for me, Christmas season begins in September and pauses for the whole month of November before continuing for the rest of the year. I've decided that I'm not going to miss the month-long Halloween season this year just because there's a pandemic. Now I'm going to show you how I DIY'd my costume. I started by bleaching my hair with the help of my sister because salons are closed. I didn't really do it for the costume but more of a quarantine thing because of boredom. If Brad Mondo is watching, what do you think he would say? Girl, what did you do to your hair? <laughs> As you can see, my siblings and I aren't really camera ready because I didn't think it'll turn into a content for a vlog. If you're thinking about bleaching or coloring your hair the right way by yourselves, I advise you to learn from professional hair dressers. In my case, it's Brad Mondo through his YouTube videos. It involved a lot of online searches of articles, videos of how to do it, to finding the right products to use. And the result is this right here. It has been a week since I last bleached my hair and now it's time to bleach it for the second time. So last week it was my sister who did the bleaching of my hair and now I'll be doing it myself because you can't really call it a DIY if you're not doing it yourself, right? I have already prepared my bleach ahead of time so I have it here and also some foil and the brush that I'll be using to apply it on my hair. This is the first time I'm doing this myself, so don't be surprised if the result is quite sloppy. Now, I'll be leaving this on for another 20 minutes, and then I'm going to wash it all off, and I'll show you the results. Now, for the big reveal, 
this is how it looks like right now. Although it's still yellow, it's definitely a lighter shade than it used to before I did the second bleaching. I'm quite satisfied considering that this is not the final color that I'm going for. Now that I'm done with all the bleaching that I need, the next step is to dye my hair purple. My sister is back to dye my hair a different color. We'll be using silver gray as base color before adding purple to achieve James' hair color. I'll be leaving this on for 30 minutes before washing it all off. It's now the next day. Anyway, this is how the silver gray base color looks right now. And I'll let you be the judge of it. Anyway, I will no longer be showing you any changes I'll be doing with my hair to have that element of surprise on the final reveal of this Halloween look. So now I'll be doing some DIY with a few pieces of clothing that will complete this Team Rocket inspired outfit. Now that I have the sewing machine, it's time to start with some DIY. So I have this white turtleneck right here and from what we've seen in James wear in Pokemon, I'll be turning it into a crop top. I actually ended up hand sewing this top because I encountered some problem with the machine. It took me the entire night to finish the crop top. Now I'll be cutting out a letter R from this red shirt and then sewing it on to the crop top that I just made. This was also hand sewn onto the crop top. I guess DIY really meant doing it yourself. I think we've seen enough of my DIY videos. Let's just skip to the moment we've all been waiting for, the final reveal. Kidding aside, what did you think about this Halloween look? Go ahead and comment down below your thoughts. How did my DIY go? My hair? Anything? Leave it in the comments below and I'll be reading them. I know it's not exactly the same as what James really wore in Pokemon, but this is the best that I can make out of everything that I have. That'll be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, make sure to smash the like button. Instead of doing shoutouts for this video, I'd like to help support anyone that needs it because that's what we should be doing, especially these times we should be lifting each other up. So the person I'm encouraging you all to support is none other than singer-songwriter, film pop finalist, Michael Katarina. Go ahead and stream Hinungdan on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Music. If you need support in your business, social media platforms, or creations, and you want me to tell the little reach that I have about it, just leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all on my next vlog. Keep in mind that you 